Um, this is the uh, the new cabin for the DP 1500i. It's our new top hammer machine. It's a six inch hole class machine. Uh, the unit's got uh, 495 CFM of air. And what we've done, with, what makes this drill uh, unique, is that it's canvas control uh, electrics, and most of the drilling controls are in these two armrests for the drill uh, in the seat here. So you have your tramming functions, your rod changer functions, and your drilling functions. And up here is an LCD screen that while you're drilling, you can uh, check your uh, drill pressures. And you can also, it will give you an alarm if there's a problem with the machine and it shows up here. So you have a, you're able, the operator's able to do some um, t uh, troubleshooting through the machine. So it'll, it'll uh, tell the operator if there's a problem and then where the problem area is. And he has a certain level of access. And after that, uh, the mechanic will have another level of access that'll allow him to do adjustments to the machine. And then the final level, is with a Sandvik employee or distribution to do any type of repairs. So the idea is to keep the op operator in the cabin. It's a pressurized cabin, dust-free environment, and it's heated and cooled. As we walk, walk around, the track frame, uh, the, the tracks are wider. It's a heavier machine. It uh, outweighs its uh, sister units by about 8,000 pounds. So you've got a, it's a more stable unit. Uh, the water tank is located in the center of the carrier versus the rear of the machine, which actually get, gave it better balance the way that everything's uh, located. So you have your compressor cooler, hydraulic cooler, air conditioning cooler, uh, all right here, and it's all vertical. And the way that it operates is that it draws air in through the cooler, and then it exits the center of the machine. All servicing points on the machine all the way around are at ground level. So as the machine, once you oscillate the machine and have it uh, level, you can get out and check all your oils, your filters, everything without having to climb on top of the machine, which is a huge benefit versus the older unit. The older unit or the, the sister unit to this machine requires you to get up on top of the machine. So you have your uh, engine air filters here, uh, compressor, Here's more coolers here for the engine. Again, it draws air in and exhausts the air through the center of the machine and up. As we walk around to the back of the machine, you can see that you have your filtration, everything again at ground level so that you have access to it. Your fuel filters, engine oil filter, everything's right at ground level. Your battery box is here, master disconnect. Here's your electric, main electric panel for the machine. It's a 24 volt system. It's got a bunch of circuit breakers in it, so if you have a problem, it'll trip the circuit and you can isolate the circuit. Everything's labeled. As we make our way around to the other side here, we have an Enduro 25 air compressor with axial piston pumps. We have your uh, compressor filter here. This is your uh, fine collectors for the dust collector. So uh, as it's uh, uh, sucking up the cuttings, the uh, fines come to the rear of the machine and this will pulsate 10 times and then discontinue. It won't continue to pulsate like it did in the old days. So you had fugitive dust flying around. Uh, again, it's on the inside of the machine. It used to be located at the rear of the machine, which helps on the balance. This is an access, you have a ladder here that you can access to, to your water tank, which is, in, like I said earlier, in the center of the machine. You have your rock oil return tank here, which uh, catches the used oil that goes through the drifter for lubrication purposes and uh, won't allow it to hit the ground, which is, uh, which is an environmental way to collect the used oil. Uh, the boom. The boom and the feed are pretty much from the original uh, machine. It hasn't changed too much in, from the original design. Uh, what has changed is the location of your pressure settings and cartridges for your drill pressures. They're now located on the back of the feed for your main pressures. And, um, all the hosing is JIC hosing. And all of your links, you have junctions, you'll notice, 
with regularity throughout the machine so that you don't have these 30 or 40 foot section of hoses to replace anymore. They, you can see that it's, it's a shorter run. It's like 12 to 15 feet. Um, the engine is the CAT uh, C11 uh, Acer. It, it, uh, it holds 180 gallons and it uses about eight and a half gallons per hour on uh, consumption. So you've got plenty of fuel to go for a very long shift every day. That's pretty much it. I mean, except for the drifter, which is the, the new HL 1560, which we can operate at 220 bar now, maximum pressure with, uh, it's got 44 horsepower, which is a lot more horsepower than our uh, other drifter. So there you go. <laughs> All right.